loops I'll switch them to do while loops uh, sorry this is gonna really confuse you guys I guess but uh, so do while loops are just different from while loops because uh, they're done first and then they check for the mm, for the condition so again I'm gonna go over loops next time so while to lower play against equals y uh, so once again here here we'll keep the while loop because by default user guess is not equal to random um, and also oh oops again I put this in the wrong one so this is the closing of the f last f while loop and this is where we need to put it so do and we take out the condition because it's do a block of code while something so now it should work please enter a guess between 1 and 20 uh, I'll enter 10 too low please try again so now I'll enter oops 15 Oh, so see here it just um, disappears. The system cl CLS clears the screen too fast. So two ways of solving this: we can either put a C out and L, or we can put a sleep function, uh, which is slash sleep sleep, and there the time in milliseconds specifies for how long it, the program will freeze. So this would be three seconds, uh, but in this case I'm just gonna do C out and del so I'm gonna put a C out and del here and the C out and del here oops okay and I'm gonna take out the system CLS's so mm, this would be one way of solving the problem so 10 too high please try again 5 too low please try again seven e wow you won good job so yes I want to play again oops uh oh so here uh, when we want to play again here's a glitch uh, it asks for play play again but since user guess is equal to since we see the random and determine the random outside of the do loop it the random doesn't change so user guess is still equal to random so that's that's a glitch and I'm gonna take and put random inside um, so the, the rand function um, I can see the random outside it doesn't matter so I chose the random inside and just to make this a little bit more believable I'm gonna say here um, well here I'm gonna put a clear user guess so I'm gonna say user guess equals zero just so I clear the buffer and uh, play again so while to lower play again is y so we can uh, put system well if we want to play sig let's put another uh, if statement and if play oops play again play again if too lower play again equals y or so the letter y if play again is e is equal to low uppercase or lowercase y we'll just put system CLS here the clear screen command so for every new game we'll get a clear screen and so let's run it now and uh, user guesses zero it doesn't allow me to do that why uh, 
Oh, right. So the if statement has to have its own uh, borders. So I think that that should solve it. Um, wow, this is a lot of if statements. If um, else if else if now we have this while do you wish to play again if oops I should take this out of here okay that solves the problem so enter a number between 1 and 20 10 too high 6 7 8 wow I won good job okay yes I want to play again and it clears the screen and I'm ready to play again 10 uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, you won. Good job. Okay, so this is a simple program, and now I'm gonna just show you quickly how to switch, how to use switch statements. So instead of using this a lot of else if else if else if, we can just say uh, switch user guest. And the switch works like a lot of if statements, pretty much. So switch has cases, and it's like a loop. So you have to put a break at the end of each case. So case, uh, let's see, uh, let's actually not use switch statements. We we could. But uh, eh, you could say that case um, user guess is equal to uh, random, I guess, and then you have to have a semicolon to, that defines the case, and then you say uh, blah blah blah, you won and and everything. But I actually dislike this idea now because this is a lot of extra work and simple if statements will do the job fairly well. So yeah, this is this is, doesn't look uh, visually appealing and it takes 53 lines, but it gets the job done. So once again, I'll quickly explain it. Uh, the includes uh, C time is for the seeding random. Coniio.h is for get char using namespace std standard namespace int main void as always uh, void no parameters int upper limit we can take out of there because actually we don't need it now so int random uh, is our random number generated by the computer user guess is the guess that the uh, the user provides and character play again is used to determine over here. Um, sorry over here in this part of the code if um, the user want, wishes to play again so if the user types yes we go back and loop so uh, same thing with um, here we see the random so we take the time and we transfer it static cast it into an unsigned integer and see the random with that here we take the random function and we generate a random number between 1 and 20 and we say please enter a guess between 1 and 20 we use the sin operator on user guess and we compare the user guess to random if it's equal you won if it's too high too high if it's too low too low ask do you wish to play again yes or no if yes uh, so while uh, the condition is if while this is yes so while the user keeps entering yes we keep playing the game when it he enters anything else other than yes we quit the game so once again just as the demonstration 10 oh I won good job no oops no and that's it okay thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you learned something see you soon